குட் நாவன் குட் ஈவினிங் வணக்கம் டாக்டர் வி பத்மா ஆல்சோ கால்டு மங்கை இஸ் அன் இங்கிலீஷ் ப்ரொஃபஸர் ரிட்டையர்ட் ஃப்ரம் தி ஸ்டெலா மரிஸ் காலேஜ் ஷி இஸ் அன் ஆக்டர் டிரெக்டர் அண்ட் பிளே ரைட் ஃபார் ஓவர் ஃபோர் டெக்கெட்ஸ் இன் தமிழ் தியேட்டர் ஷி ஹோப்ஸ் தட் ஹர் ஆர்டிஸ்டிக் அண்ட் ஆக்டிவிஸ்ட் பெர்ஸ்பெக்டிவ்ஸ் find a vibrant intersection her interests are theater gender and translation studies a recipient of two full bright fellowships for work on theater and gender she has teaching experiences in the united states and in the uk she has directed over 25 plays on women centric themes kala kanavu dream of time is a docu drama on feminist history of tamil nadu which she has done her approach to classical tamil literature is from the contemporary perspective of ecology culture and gender examples of such works are avvai manimekalai and kurinji paattu she has evolved seven plays with surya women's cultural group in batikolawa sri lanka and her passion is community theater and she hopes this will give the voice for the voiceless she works with the transgender community for over past two decades and that has helped her form kannadi kalai kulu her recent works are translations one which is avvai by inpi lab into english and geeta hariharan's i have become the tide ter alayanen and this kind of brings us to the context here and that is going to be a narrative a personal narration exploring the healing power of performative arts let the earth yield man payanura vendum let's welcome mangai on stage the shared tides translated as ikarayum akarayum i would just do it as odum malaihal paayum malaihal or something like that than ikarayum akarayum because there is no way you can look at ikarai from the akarai as the other or vice versa because there is no way that is possible at least not from manar gulf to dhanushkodi or rameshwaram and vice versa even though the sedu samudram is so difficult um, to be built there are mythological connections everything what i really loved about the concept note of shared tides and i you know alai halal ondrinaindha you know so i think some way we are tied together by alai halal even though that doesn't rip sit properly as a metaphor so the three key words for me from the concept note is social justice forgiveness and the empathy and i really think that's what the whole world needs today samuha neethi mannikira thanmai purindukondu orthara orthara patna பார்வையை வைக்கிறது இட்ஸ் நாட் பரிவு அது வந்து எம்பத்திக்கு இட்ஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் சிம்பத்தி ஏனோ ஸோ ஐ திங்க் தீஸ் ஆர் த த்ரீ கீ வேர்ட்ஸ் தட் ஆர் ரியலி ரெசோனேட்டிங் வித் மீ அண்ட் ஐம் ஸோ ஹாப்பி தட் லோஜிதன் அண்ட் தர்மபாலன் ஃப்ரம் ஜஃப்னா அண்ட் சுப்திகா அண்ட் கிரண்மயி ஹாவ் அண்டர் டேக்கன் திஸ் ஜேர்னி அக்ராஸ் த வேவ்ஸ் அண்ட் ஐ ஹவ் சீன் தெம் அண்ட் ஐம் கோயிண்ட் டு பி இன் கான்வர்சேஷன் வித் த டூ யங் உமன் ஃப்ரம் Uh, chennai soon so i just gave the title man payanura vendum 
um, at a moment when the weight of suffering of the whole world was heavy on all of us, not just because of the ecological issues, but also because of how the world is tilting. You know, so is there forgiveness that's possible at all? Can two people who are seen as self and the other ever shake hands um, or just look at each other? And for me, the image is of the end of Mahabharata war. And you have all the women, almost all of them widowed, including the young bride, Uttara, who is bearing the child of Abhimanyu and is a young widow and I'm just imagining how did they look at each other. Is it guilt or is it grief? What overcomes what? How do you really survive those emotions? So those are, that, that's the image that's really tying my whole conversation here. And I just want to begin with one of the things that's closest to all of us and very, very important for us this year because Malayagam, as we call it, which is the estate uh, land in Sri Lanka, Kandi and the rest, which actually exports tea to the rest of the world. And thanks to colonization, the estates were formed. Thanks to the coolies from Tamil Nadu who actually migrated there to become India Tamil, as they are called, Indian Tamils, as they are called. So this is the 200th year of their uh, entry into that new land. And we had done a play called Karupi years ago, you know, at least 15 years ago now. So I'm just going to have a small clip from that bit called Karupi. The text is in, I mean, the play text is in English, but the song is in Tamil. And the timing is 18.51. Timer which part? Yeah. No. Eighteen point five. It's okay. Twenty seconds earlier is okay. Can you make it full screen? Yeah. Thank you. Sound Our labor is never ending. Thank you. So the estate workers were primarily 
mostly Dalit, almost 90% Dalit, from Ramnad to Tukurin, you know, that, that belt, who took the boats. And there are a lot of documents about it. And the song that you just heard is a play written by Nade Sayar, who was a union organizer of the estate workers. And the one who sang his songs, along with Bharadiyar and many other songs, was his wife Meenakshi Ammal. So this year, I think we are really remembering them. We are remembering them for having given us this document of how lives were. And I don't think there's much of a change after that, including the people who came ap after this, uh, con whatever Lal Bhagadur Shastri signed. And then they are there near Kudalur, and you will still find them in Tamil Nadu. They are like Burma, Burma colony everywhere. So you have the Ceylon colony. So that Ceylon Agadi Ponne or Ceylon Agadi Payan is a very, very uh, common name for many of us. And I mean, one lives with that, you know, and make do with whatever life that is offered to us in a land that you are, you have crossed, you have shared many things, but there is still, there is a difference. So there is a caste, there is labor and gender that actually acts out in the estate workers. The play that we did was written by V. Gita. And I just want to move to the much more broader crisis in Sri Lanka, which for us, you know, I mean, as, as she was reading the bio, I thought, oh God, I'm that old. You know, I am <laughs> really, really, it just strikes you in your face when you hear people <laughs> say that. So it's almost 30 to 35 years of war and generations, we call them war children. You know, so they are born and I'm sure you're going to hear a reading soon after this. So you'll hear more of that. So my association with the island through theater was in particular, as you heard, but it's not just me. So there is Prema Revati who runs a school in Nagapatnam called Vanavil for Boom Boom Matakar children and who, was part, who is still part of our group and she works in theater and a lover of art and theater. So one play that she directed with them initially when, I mean, just before the Gotago struggle. So it's called Orutuli Anbu. And I just want to play the audio of that, uh, one of the songs that they composed for that. Uh, yeah. Not this, audio one. Yeah. <laughs> So she evolved this play when the economic crisis was just beginning. And then the whole corruption and we all know what they've been going through now for the past two years and the drastic changes that took place. Now a little before that, I mean, I'm, I'm just surprised that she called it Orutuli Kannir. One of the plays that I did in 2003 um, before the last war was called Orupidi Anbu. And that's a line that I took from uh, Vilvaratnam, one of the poets from Trinko. He was living in Trinko, but originally from one of the islands there. And we used it in our play, you know. So basically it is about um, how do you witness 
the destruction of humanity you know and what do you really need if you want to show that you are witnessing it or you are seeing it you are hearing it you are feeling it is just oripidi anbu so this is the how the poem goes ஈரமற்று போனதடா போனதடா இந்நிலந்தான் கூண் விழுந்த மானுடந்தான் குந்தி இருக்கிறது அங்கே இட்ஸ் அ ஹன்ச் பேக் ஹியூமானிட்டி தட் இஸ் சிட்டிங் ஆன் த சைட் லைன்ஸ் யாரேனும் ஐயா யாரேனும் இதயத்தை பிளந்தெனினும் உயிர் தண்ணீர் வார்க்கும் வரை முதுகு பிளந்தெனினும் முல்லெழும்பை ஊன்று கோலாய் முல்லெழும்பை ஊன்று கோலாய் ஊன்று கோலாய் வழங்கும் வரை டில் சம்படி கிவ்ஸ் யூ தேர் ஸ்பைன் ஃபார் யூ டு பி அ வாக்கிங் ஸ்டிக் இந்த நீண்ட நெடும் பாலை வ வழி காத்திருக்கும் காத்திருக்கும் அன்பினிலே வரிய நாமே வன் பாலை உலகு செய்தோம் வி அ பிரெஃப்ட் ஆஃப் லவ் அண்ட் தே ஃபோர் வி கிரியேட்டட் திஸ் வயலண்ட் டெசர்ட் அன்பகத்தீர் இஃப் யூ ஹவ் லவ் இன் யோர் ஹார்ட் அன்பகத்தீர் தயவு செய்து தயவு செய்து ஒரு பிடி அன்பு செய்வீர் ஒரு பிடி அன்பு செய்வீர் and if you translated it is i don't know the english translation will just say love as a verb you know so tamil la vanda anbu seyinga abina it's a work there is a labor when you have to really be loving you know so love is not some of these romantic running around the trees you know it is something that you need to work hard for which i remember the poet when we told him that we are going to use it you know explaining to me and the line a maathiradinga because he knows we theater people tamper with lines and we take the liberties and he was one of the friends we will take more liberties so what he said enna vena maathunga mange and anbu seiyiradengiradha maathadinga abdin said i mean he is no more he himself was a great singer and um, very very romantic at heart you know so i have fond memories of sitting in trinco facing the ocean and hearing him sing so he could actually sing most of his songs but of course this one is a tune from kathavarayan kootu which is very very popular in sri lanka and is also there not so much in our place near chidambaram and other places so we use that so this is like you are really asking for somebody to tell you sapthiya you know just to look at you and say sapta cha iniki nama kekkrom le unga area la power vandircha adu da nama edirpaakrom you know just for somebody to raise that one one person to ask us you know so that that's what i think the poem is really talking about and that's exactly what i think sri lanka is asking about and uh, the answer that we are giving is through these that you are there to listen you are there to see and hear i also want to kind of read out another story that was published by tara books books by mike masilamani and it was also performed as a play i don't know bala nyabar kantarla one of these festivals i think metroplus shubha was a director it's called the boy who speaks in numbers you know she had kind of done it as an absurd kind of play and we when we had the book launch we also did a reading for that so uh, i'm just going to kind of read that so the boy of course can only speak in numbers um and then he has a cow which can actually speak you know so uh the constantly complaining cow takes a takes to the ring after everybody else has finished their acts after the one night sharp shooters were shot a peep uh, shot a papa off a child's head the barber with a bad mood has thrown a tantrum after sorry the clown has apologized for his bad jokes the jaipur food jugglers have juggled grenades and mangoes after the well of death proves true to its name and the terrible trapeze act gets booed off and finally 
after the number tumbler names the numbers and the landmine lady blows herself up the cow starts innocently enough reminding them of the price of a packet of milk at which the audience shake their head in disbelief the price of diesel has them grumbling they groan with disapproval at the price of sugar and boo loudly when she speaks of the price of rice soon they are on their feet cheering and howling she gets louder with each new revelation with the audience hanging on to their every grunt and snort just when the audience thinks things can't get worse she pulls out another example of how it has are they being told that happiness comes at a price or is it simply beyond them no one is really sure all they know is that someone cares so the whole thing ends with the boy and the boy is not af- it the po- yes he is not afraid he knows he can count on the numbers the same numbers that witness checkpoints come and villages go up in flames cows who co- that complain and lizards with bad breath the very numbers that met with important peons and and an auntie who scolded in rhyme with no reason the numbers that watch the boy escape landmines and the little tin soldiers only to get bowled out in cricket the numbers that were by the side of the boy at the traveling refugee circus he knows the numbers will have the last word yeah and the numbers did have the last word as all of us know in 2009 may um sri lanka faced and i think the only witness was the waters because the other side was human barricade and uh, nandi kadal as you see it now and um to go back to mulli vaikal or nandi kadal has been a very very traumatic experience for me and for everyone i think but each one has a lot of things to say so i just wanted to read one of the poems written by uh, a member of our team in the group that i work with surya cultural team and um, so i mean we we actually did it like a collage of various poems and descriptions and personal memories and everything and the play was called kavalamma you know a woman who guards so this kavalamma is talking about uh, refugees who are traveling and they are going with manvetti you know so you you do see uh, an arival in lojidans uh, thing you know in the installation that's there the song that he has uh, collected from his own family kayil agapatta poruludan manvetti ye eduthu chellum pudiyador idam idam peyar vaalvu so there is an yet another new migration that is happening because they called it idps internally displaced people yuddham makkalai turatti turatti viratiya bodum vaazhdalukana nambikaye innum ilakkamal idam peyirndu pudhiya idathil thotam seidu vaalvom endra mana urudhi konda makkal ena ninaithu perimidam konda velayil so the poet thought okay they are carrying this manvetti so that they can do gardening or they can start their agriculture in the new land wherever they are going to be staying so she was very happy that they are carrying this and are thinking of a new day and then but the answer came oru kulal shell taakudalukku uyir tappi viduvom endra idam peyaru vaalvu poi ippodu pal kulal shell taakudalil pala peril silar irappar so earlier it was just a single shell but then later they you know they use snipers and the children made songs for the sniper sound that sound that they made so they are sure that at least some of them from among them would die endra nichayathodu irappavargalai anaadai pinangalaga vittu chellada because you have no other go but to leave the dead but then this team this group that is migrating thought because we don't want to let them die as orphan dead பிணத்தை புதைப்பதற்காய் மண்வெட்டியோடு ஓடுகிறோம் ஸோ தே டுக் த மண்வெட்டி டு ஜஸ்ட் பரி த டெட் யூனோ ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த திங்ஸ் தட் விஜயலக்ஷ்மி அ பாயிட் ஃப்ரம் பேட்டிகுலர் பட் ஹஸ் பீன் டாக்டர் ஐ திங்க் ஹவ் போயம்ஸ் ஆர் 
excellent documentation. But apart from all this, you do have various things in the island, and I am still going to talk about Baticola. I mean, in um, it's Logidans, no, the recording of uh, Vaigunda Ammanai. So, Baticola also has another ritual. All of us are familiar with Kannagi story. So, Kannagi becomes widowed and she burns down the Madurai. And the story is that she runs towards Kerala. And it is the Kerala hunters. That's why you have Bhagavadi there. They make her a goddess and they worship her. But then Sri Lanka has a story of a Patni cult. So, there are temples for Patni among the Singhala people, temples for Kannagi in Batikola. So, the Kannagi temples and she is there and they have one of these rituals which is called Kulirti, appeasing ritual. A ritual. So, I mean, it's a beautiful ritual of all this 25 years. There's only once I managed to catch it because the temples were closed, rituals weren't happening even during ceasefire. One May when I landed, and then it's about, now it is 6 hours drive from Colombo, but earlier it used to be 9 to 10 hours because of the check posts and everything. So, I got off and immediately went to the temple to see the ritual. And it was beautiful. And you hear that song, even your Mariamman songs are composed in that tune. And they have a Kai Chilambu. The Chilambu comes, you have to imagine it with that. We took the tune and one or two lines. Um, I mean, Man Payanura Vendum, the title is also from Bharadiyar. Uh, but this is, let this goddess come and calm the land which is boiling. Yeah? So I just want you to hear that song. <laughs> She removes the darkness with a ladle and brings light. the ritual is you have a pot which has turmeric water, neem leaves and everything and everybody holds neem leaves like a bouquet and they dip the water and throw it on all of us, you know, whoever is listening to them. So, it is, it is healing, it is calming. So, I mean, even in Chilapadigaram, that's what you, you see. Chilapadigaram is 6th century uh, AD approximately. So, in Chilapadigaram, in Kerala, when she goes, the ones who make oil, the oil press, Vanir, they give her oil or somebody else gives her perfumes that can calm you down. So, there are ways in which one has to find value in little things. And those little things, I think, are what these artists have tried to capture. You know, some of them are transient, some of them are, I mean, you will see, I mean, I always weep when I see a photograph that is browning and moth-eaten at the edges and everything. So, seeing your album, your book was very, very moving. You know, I, I can't move from one page to another that easily. You know, it can be studio photographs. I think that happens to all of us. When you are looking at just your own grandparents and studio photograph with a flower jar next to them and you know, so the 
expression of intimacy of that generation how is it different in this selfie era so it's a very very uh, it it kind of turns a whole lot of things so right now i think the nation as all of us know has been facing uh, the gotago mo the movement uh, aragalaya which happened in Co colombo and then there was violence there was primarily lot of non violence and there was evoking of gandhi ji and many things i just want to boast of one um, one thing that became i was so proud of because we when we had anti caa struggles in india we kept translating hum dekhenge into tamil in many different languages and i happened to do it with ponni my daughter and my theta group member and colleague in many many ways so we did it together nam par po me so the approximately to the tune thanks to bindu malni because she was with us when we were translating and i in even within india i always thought that's my passport to glory in translation because that one translation everybody wanted there was a media hype about it and it went okay now as far as i know many singers add the tamil lines along with the malayalam and bengali and everything and they sing it there and in aragalaya because the moment you think of south asia it is it is the indian subcontinent and so it's bangladesh pakistan india and if we remember we will include nepal and bhutan very often poor uh, you know uh, sri lanka i always think it's like a tear drop i'm sorry those of you who actually have connections visually it does look like a tear drop literally or a tilak if you want to call it it's that image so i always felt how come south asia at least for south indians is something that's part of subcontinent you know so in many forums we have been talking about it but this song went like fire forest fire in london in many places all, all the places where they were fighting in support of sri lanka both tamil and sinhala people sang this song you know so i was extremely happy and in batikula there are many of my friends my soul mates as i call them who who are christians who are pro part sinhala speaking who decided to settle down in batikula some 20 year odd years ago and kept using the walk just walking and those of you who know tichnat khan the vietnamese buddhist monk who has founded plum village and who was working hard till the end to really wipe out the animosity and hatred uh i don't know how it is possible between the american soldiers and the vietnamese people who had lost almost everything and he was this buddhist monk and he says let each step of yours kiss the grass of blade of grass so walk as if you're kissing the grass when you walk and he had uh, he calls it engaged buddhism and for me that became very important because in sri lanka where buddhism is the majority religion just like how rama is to us here and that buddhism also has this engaged buddhism and here he is so these people have been walking on and off for the disappeared for many attacks everything but then in batikula they called it batikula justice walk you can go on facebook they are on facebook whether there are three of them or hundreds of them or 330 of them they still walk every day from 9 o'clock they assemble at a church place and just walk silently with placards on their bodies they go to up to gandhi park which is there which is where there is a batikula gate india gate so they go to that gandhi park which is like 2 kilometers and i actually had the opportunity to walk on and off but i really find that re very very soothing those of you who know me here you know for me to shout and raise your slogan and walk like that and fight has been part of my life right from my 1819 you know it hasn't gone it's still there 
but still this walk gives you that stability that equilibrium that awareness that one needs to labor to love you know so that is something that i clung on to and i i'm going to stop because i want to have some time venda uh, discussion so i do have a clip which i have shared with the gathe institute so you can use we created a play called nadai nadai ai where we connected the walk to the argentinian plaza de mayo mothers in the 1970s who walked for like i i don't know how many years even 40th year i think they were walking three of them who had been walking out of those 13 women who began the walk are still alive and there are studies done on them you know so the song just says plaza de mayo you are the witness to our nation's history and to our suffering so you are opening the wounds and let let the sunlight fall on that wound so that the world can see so that is what they actually um, so i connected it with that because we also had mothers front in jaffna and colombo when all these struggles began in the 80s and many of my colleagues are part of mothers in fact the the boy who speaks in numbers and the one who directed is um, the daughter of sunila abe sakra who is no more now but who is a p nobel peace prize winner you know and uh, passed away um, to cancer and was living in exile till the last two years of her life and an amazing amazing feminist who could sing bread and roses so i think those are the people who are guiding us i just want to end with one of the translations that a tamil professor academic academician linguist and translator in sri lanka has done he retired as a professor of um, tamil language from peradeniya university kandi m a nuhman and uh, he is also the first person to put together a collection of sri lankan poetry called maranathul walvo you know we will live amidst death so that was his poetry but that was sri lankan poetry but in the 80s when the whole war began and he was in jaffna and he was witness to the library being burnt and a whole lot of things being burnt and one couldn't open your mouths you know so um, it you couldn't talk and what he did was to talk in another tongue and the tongue that he chose to talk in is palestinian tongue and he translated mahmud darwish poem i just want to end with that nan pragadanam seigiren i declare i don't know i didn't check what darwish's original uh, title is because for me nuhman's is my favorite yenadu naatil oru saan nilam irukkum varai ennidam oru olive maram olive tree enji irukkum varai oru elimichai maram oru kinaru oru chapathi kalli that's cactus enji irukkum varai ஒரு சிறு நினைவு ஒரு சிறு நூலகம் அ வெரி ஸ்மால் லைப்ரரி ஒரு பாட்டனின் புகைப்படம் அ ஃபோட்டோகிராஃப் ஆஃப் அ கிராண்ட் ஃபாதர் ஒரு சுவர் ஜஸ்ட் அ வால் எஞ்சி இருக்கும் வரை அண்ட் தென் ஐம் வாமிட்டிங் சம் பேராகிராஃப்ஸ் நான் வாழும் வரை எனது சொற்களும் வாழும் சுதந்திர போராளிகளின் கைகளில் ரொட்டியாகவும் ஆயுதமாகவும் இருக்கும் ஸோ இட் வில் பி த பிரெட் அண்ட் த வெப்பன் in the hands of people who are fighting for liberation as all of you know when darwish visited the west bank he could stand on top of a bridge and there were lakhs of people listening to him and i'm extremely i'm really really sure somewhere beneath those rubbles darwish is listening to all of them thank you can we take one or two comments questions anything i didn't know this exhibit i knew the idea of the exhibit and i didn't get a chance when i when i walked in of course kiran mai was the only one whom i met first uh walked in and walked through that i because i've been preparing this shuchi knows that for past 3 4 days i've been juggling with so many things both in my head and in my life and with the rains and the household everything 
so it's not just grenades and mangoes you were <laughs> juggling with so many things and these thoughts were there in my head and i i'm so moved that we are connected through these waves when i look at these images uh, i still believe that creativity is something that has no borders that speaks to us across time and space but it always feels like oh i wanted to say it and they have said it well so that's the feeling i have about this exhibition thank you You want to pull up a chair and sit to moderate, or we have. If anybody has anything, any you comments? Can ask her, you can respond. You can express if you would like to. Yeah. Okay, I have a question. So uh, now, watching these kinds of plays that you have done. I think it had many faces. I have written about them. I can share it with you. Initially, I always say my dictatorial director's practice was there. So I wanted the play, and you always went. You know, in fact, I had to publish this book after I retired because it's a painful process getting permission for a government employee in um, in India. So I now in the college, the government. Uh, Uh, it it is a college uh, i get paid by the government so in that sense i i owe it to them so i always flew in and out through holidays or weekends and i nothing came out because i i couldn't say it aloud so we had this plays we published them thankfully i have a pseudonym uh, so the pseudonym helped but post retirement i came out and published this in 2019 put them together in a collection and also started writing and talking about them so there were many things because for the participants i think it was therapeutic in many ways some of them i mean i still remember that kulirti tune was given to us by a girl who is in sri lanka she is a woman now in sri lanka in switzerland uh, she is from sri lanka and her father used to sing this in the temple so whenever the moment she started the uh, kai chilambu she will faint she'll have a fits that's all i remember of that workshop you know so at one point he said chumma paade without the chilambu you know so that she could do so things like that so for the participants it was therapeutic but we also had difficulties so you create a play and you leave it to them and um, i don't know how bala is i'm i'm a very possessive parent uh when it comes to my place not to people uh <laughs> people or my own children or my own students you know so i like them to have wings but my place i feel i should at least be there so there are people so whenever their performance is happening you know i'll be on my edge trying to see what happens so there was there are occasions when some of the actors backed off because they were traveling through a village where her chitti or mami is there and she had probably shared their story so which is what i was reminded of when i heard your please go listen to those audios um that saptika has put in so there's a lot of responsibility and then it took me a while to take a back, back step and then say artists are more important than art you know so do it whenever you are ready it's okay if you can't do it now it's okay world is not going to change wars are not going to end revolution is not going to come so it is okay to change but for me to get that it took me about 2 years you know so but then i mean all that you heard for the past 2 days i have been asking them to record it and send me 
you know, I didn't have Wi-Fi, I couldn't get that. In fact, Shuchi was saying, how many uh, tracks that you have, you have got it? You know, so they are also struggling because Wi-Fi is really, really expensive and difficult for most of them. So, she's one of the group members who recorded it for me. And they are keeping it alive, you know. So, when I had a very, very bad low in my theatre experience in Tamil Nadu and I was visiting just casually for a two-day conference uh, in Trinko, one of them actually told me, so because we are not from India, you don't think we are your group members, you know, that has just stayed with me. So I think, uh, yes, yes, my dear, I know you are itching to say something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, during the war time, it was very difficult, but I also had very lovely, this Oripidi Anbu, the actors carry a curtain kind of a cloth, many of them, with the bowl of turmeric water. So, manjal vandu namakke aman koil la tarwanga, it's supposed to cool you down. So, the audience is supposed to just touch the manjal and place it on the cloth. So, adhukit nanga director illa. Time alone, which in all the other part of operating a theory under no curtain call. Abdila Sana and the hall or the end to Pohle. So one of them actually kept raising hands. And then we said, Please, Wanga, one the pesna, eleven learning a tuni ink kunduang. How did Nanga? Because she wanted to touch that turmeric water, you know. So that was lovely. In fact, I think, um, I mean, many people know my work here which is, um, I mean, I'm not yet into any institution. I don't even have, I mean, I have a lot of members who have worked with me in the group, a lot of students with whom I have worked. One of the reasons why I don't cling on to a group is that, you know, I, I just don't think I can handle it. But, um, I don't know, I lost my thread. Uh, but the, but I, to a large extent, there is a lot of overlap between the work I did in Sri Lanka and here. In fact, Inganange Ingula Poda Kurunji Pate Nora play, which is based on Sangam Kurunji Pate. You know, ad, uh, so and the song or other draft is their part of Oripidi Anbu. You know, Ingula was also a very strong supporter of Sri Lanka, Sri Lankan politics and Sri Lankan Tamil issues. So, I mean, right now I just feel I'm blessed to have so many people who were magnanimous enough to share their stories, to trust you with them, I will guard them. Yeah. As long as I can. Thank you. With that, on behalf of Gyotan Institute and Chennai Koto Biyamala Foundation and Gyotan Institute in Colombo and Kalam Jasna, we thank you very much for this wonderful invitation.